So hi guys, I'm back again. Um, today I'm going to do the uh, fairy light photo project thing that I've been talking about in my blog. As you can see there are some up here on the wall behind me, just some wedding photos there. I've got some of our honeymoon photos here that I'm going to use today. So the fairy lights that I'm going to use are just plain bog standard um, battery powered fairy lights from Ikea. I think they cost £2 and you do get quite a lot of light for your money. So I'm just going to turn them all on. They're not really that bright, um, maybe the batteries need changing. Um, I just wanted to make sure that they all work, which they do. Um, to attach the photos to the strings, let's just move that out of the way. I'm going to use um, paper tape, which I bought from Tiger. Um, it comes in a pack of three. If you can see there, there's a spotted one, sort of stripy one, and plain pink one as well. So I'm going to use the spotted one, just because I think it looks much better. And I've also got a pair of scissors with me to cut the tape from. This is really, really easy to do and it looks really, really good when it's up on the wall. So I just thought, I've done one, it was so easy, I'll show you and then probably when I'm done this is going to go in our bedroom. Not that Josh knows it yet, but there we go. And I'm really sorry that the camera is quite, or the video is quite dark. I'm using the webcam from my computer to do this, so I'm not sure actually how well it's going to turn out and now my lights are all tangled up. There we go. Right. So, let me just untangle all of these. There we go. Right. So, first things first. I'm going to go, I think, maybe two or three lights in. So, three there. So then I'm going to go to these next ones and basically you're going to take your photo, it's a picture of me and Josh on the balcony of our hotel when we were on our honeymoon and I'm going to put it so that the string goes right across the top of the photo so you've got the lights there and you can see the photo as well and then I'm going to take if I can find the end, some tape. Um, yeah, probably about an inch, maybe an inch, maybe an inch and a half, and just cut it with my scissors. And then all I'm going to do is put the tape, put the tape in the middle of the photo. I found that works sort of the best and then just wrap the tape around like that so it's gone around the string of the lights and also around the photo as well you can kind of see like that and then just stick it down and basically you want to do that with every single photo that you've got maybe leave a couple of lights so leave a gap maybe two and then just do it again with the next photo which again is another photo of me and Josh stood on the balcony of our hotel so, so same basic principle, bit of tape scissors and then just stick it onto the photo in the middle. So I'll show you guys again. So it's all backwards. Just stick it there and the photo is hanging. And then leave a couple of lights. I'm trying to do this quite quick because I mean dinner's cooking but it is really really simple once you've done it once. I'll show you the next photo. If you don't know if you can see it there that's Josh pretending to be scared of a shark that was stuck to the ceiling in a Spanish shop. I'm pretty sure that was at the airport actually. Oh, no. <laughs> I was going to try and rip the tape then. No, it doesn't work. So, cut a bit of tape.
get the string on the... This photos keep sticking to the table. Put the string on the top and just wrap it around the back. So, uh, next photo we've got is a little cafe in a town that we went to. Um, there's a market along the back and basically you walk up to the market and then this is like a cafe and it's got a lighthouse on the top. I just thought it was really, really cool. And I actually took that photo with my phone. So I'm really, really pleased with how that photo came out and it's probably one of my favorites from our whole honeymoon. So again, she cut, <laughs> he fell off my chair then. Cut the tape. That would have been embarrassing. Most of these photos are actually portrait, whereas the ones I did before were landscape. So I probably ran out of photos before I ran out of um, space. So my next photo again is me and Josh. I think that was his birthday trip to uh, Sea Life Centre in Birmingham. So you can kind of see a shark in the background, but. Just, I love it when we have photos of us and we're all like cutched up and together and that probably would have been a couple of years ago. I just think this is a really really good way of displaying the photos that we've got as well and doing it a bit more creatively. So next photo is a little sunset again from our hotel in Grand Canaria. We were only there for a week, but I take so many photos, it's just unreal. And every single one of these photos was taken with my phone as well. Um, iPhone 6, the camera on them, it's really weak. So this one is a landscape photo, so I will just show you what I tend to do with them. Is if I can not get all tangled up here. So I'll show you this way, and then I'll stick it, so... Maybe two bits of tape would be better for this because you've obviously got two things and I just kind of do it where there's a light there, one in the middle and one there as well and just stick it one either side so you've got a little bit of a light in the middle. Let's turn that around the right way. So we will put one bit by there. You don't want to put too much tape on them either because otherwise you'll take away from the actual um, the actual photo. You just want something just to secure it. But you do want enough so that it sticks. Not too much that it'll ruin the photo. So. Once I've done, once I'm done, I will um, put, hang them up on the wall. I already know where these are going. Um, and then, I've lost my train of thought now, what was I going to say? Yeah, once I've done them, sorry, it's been a long day. Once I have done them, I will um, hang them up on the wall and then I'll show you the finished product at the end of the video. So, um, I, I think I'll just show you every single photo. So again, me and Josh in a restaurant, I think that was Valentine's Day this year just before we got married. Um, yeah, just, I think actually we were waiting for pudding at that point. So, this might be a really, really boring video, but there we go, I'm enjoying doing these, so I'm not really that bothered. So just a bit of tape, a bit more tape, wrap it around the top of the photo. It is just so easy to do and it looks so, so good when it is up. Actually, I might just have a couple of photos left over as well, actually. So maybe we'll leave those two. Yeah, we'll put this one up. So this one is another picture from the balcony of our hotel. So as this is three, I'll do the same thing with the light in the middle. As this is three, as this is a landscape photo, I'll do the same with the light in the middle. So bit of tape. I think it's nice having the pretty tape there as well. Just makes it a bit more handmade and a bit more you know, pretty. I thought my computer was going to go into 
um, what do they call it? Sleep mode? Is that what they call it? I'm not sure. But the screen was about to go off. So, okay, so next one is on. Just need to wrap that around there. So, just turn it around for you. So, I've left the light in the middle for that one as well. We do only have a couple of lights left, so I'm going to be a bit more picky with my photos. What have we got here? Uh, yeah, we'll do that one. And that one as well. We're going to do two more. Can I get two more on there? Possibly three. So next one I've got another landscape. This was our engagement photos. We went to Aberystwyth for the day and had photos taken professionally just to meet the photographer and stuff like that. It's something you do when you get married. <laughs> it's, it's really, really awkward just walking around a town, just two people like because on your wedding day people expect to be have photos taken and stuff but it's just so awkward there were people walking past and you know this guy that we didn't really know very much and it's just really really strange experience but actually on the wedding day there was a point where we just well I did I don't know about Josh just wanted to tell the photographer to go and leave us alone because it was just just photos all the time you just wanted to chill especially before you walk into the ceremony you don't want a camera staring at you in the face or I didn't anyway so yeah there was a, a couple of times when I just wanted to tell him to go and <laughs> go and swivel but actually the photos afterwards were really nice so it wasn't that much of a big deal um, I might actually show you this next one this was taken I think my birthday last year, Josh had bought me a selfie stick uh, for my birthday and then we were just testing out. This is again in Aberystwyth, we do spend an awful lot of time there. Um, mostly we just go, oh, sorry, itchy nose. Mostly we just go and play pool in the pier um, and walk along the seafront. So, Josh being from Swansea he doesn't really see it as a very special thing to do, but I actually really really enjoy it because like the sea is well Aberystwyth is our nearest beach so I only lost all of them then. What I might do actually is just tape one of the lights to the table just to stop me losing it because I'm not going to put lights right on the end because I've come to nearly come to the end of it yeah and then they stay still that was a good idea Emily well done so what was I saying? Yeah, going to the beach was really special for me when it's I kinda of still is because it's like an hour's drive and it's quite it's quite stressful being in the car for an hour just going to the seaside, but I really, really like it. It wasn't something we did every day, so it's kinda of really, really special. So the last photo I am going to do is another one of me and Josh. <laughs> Uh, this is at his auntie's wedding, um, 2015, so yeah, last year, and um, yeah, we just sat there with champagne in our hands, just having a good time. So that's going to be the last, yeah, that's going to be the last photo to go on here. So, a bit more tape, attach that to the string. And we are done. So to attach the, whoops, <laughs> nearly just lost all of them. That would have been embarrassing. So to attach these to the wall, I'm just going to use picture hooks. Um, I don't want to put any glue or any sellotape or anything onto the walls because that would make a mess and it would take some explaining to the landlord when, when we do eventually move because I think we'll be staying here forever. So, um, that's it basically. Now I have a show you. Whoops. A very large string of photos on fairy lights of me and Josh. Just turn them on. You can see. So it just adds a bit of sparkle to your photos. 
and there we go. So you actually know now how flipping easy, sorry my arm got in the way then, how easy it really really is to do and it looks, well, you can see these ones here, it just looks really really nice when they're on. Um, this is going to sound quite boring but obviously leaving fairy lights with photos is a fire risk so I wouldn't go leaving them on for too long because sometimes fairy lights can get quite hot and yeah fires are bad so just a disclaimer there at the end right at the end um i'm gonna i might well i'll definitely upload this video today once i've hung up the fairy lights like i said i'll go and do uh show you what they look like when they're up and when they're on um i need to take a breath talking way too quickly um i might also upload my vlog tonight as well i might hang fire actually and upload that tomorrow instead of having two videos in one day um, and you can go and check them out if you want <laughs> just yeah give me a thumbs up as well if you like these videos and um, it'd be really good if you could suggest some videos for me to try like I've done also I've got I've got my vlog going that I upload a couple of, every couple of days I've done a get ready with me and me and Josh have also done a chapstick challenge as well so this will be the third like special video I've done so if you've got any ideas for me to do some more, that would be really, really good as well. So I will see you next time. Hope you enjoyed this. Goodbye. Okay, so I'm back again, guys. As promised, here is the finished product of the fairy lights up on the wall in my bedroom. Enjoy. So this is them up on my bedroom wall. So I've just used some picture hooks. I've actually cheated with this one on the left-hand side this one here um, because the, that picture was already there so I have just attached them to the picture hook at the back of the room I will just zoom out a little bit so you can see Tatty Teddy on my bed <laughs> and also the Stormtrooper alarm clock in the corner um, so I just really really like how it looks and actually when you turn off the lights it does look really really cool and it doesn't really show in here because obviously it's not the light in here is really really bad um, but it does brighten up the room really 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 well so there we go that is the finished product hope you enjoyed this video guys so that was the finished product I'll just do it so that you can see it in the background as well there we go I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, give me a like if you want me to do some more and if you want to check out other videos that I've done please subscribe, that would really 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 mean a lot to me. Thanks guys, see you next time, bye!